Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Hotel Magnet. This is a game I've been eagerly keeping an eye on. You are building your own hotel. However, the last time I saw footage of it, it was really not yet ready for being fit for consumption as it were. Build a square room. So yeah, right now I'm just obviously doing this tutorial. I don't know how big anything needs to be. I'm just going to do it like this because I can. Oh wow, that is that is a colour scheme. There we go, select the door button. I have doored. I do like how you put things on angles. Let's put it there. Open the work. Okay. Build a working reception. Open the room's detail by clicking on the floor of the reception. I have clicked. Reception. Desk. Oh, actually bigger than I thought. Look at that. So you can actually set things up. It actually rotates. Hmm. Okay, so I actually want it to be there. There we go. Bill open rooms is over by clicking on the floor of the reception. Yes. Now we need to hire someone. And we begin. Let's get Michael Maddox or Mickle? Ooh, $3,000. Bold colour choice for your interior decor, but it seems to be coming along nicely. Make sure to provide bedrooms. I am now bedrooming. Build three rooms. Got the bedroom facility to them. Okay. I think I built this too big, if I'm honest. Yeah, I definitely built this too big. Here it is. I think I'm building a motel. This is not a ho this is not a motel. This is a hotel. Obviously, you can build significantly bigger, but you got to start somewhere in this world, don't you? I'm very curious how big I built this place now. This feels very, very small. Really? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Alright. Why can't I build that door properly? Door! There we go. Okay, now. Bedroom. Bed. Okay, multi placement. Just control click. Control is holding shift. Unreachable. Oh, I do not like that. It's slightly in the wall. Okay, this is also a bedroom. This is also a bedroom. I have bedroomed! Have three guests complete their stay at your hotel by making sure it is operational. We look at an operational reception and one bedroom. Three remaining. Is it open? Is it paused? Begin we must! Now the actual music, it's okay. The art style is interesting. They have really creepy eyes. I love creepy eyes. I have a lot of space. I could definitely build a nice hotel and not a bed and breakfast. Uh, what I have built is horrifying. I've also built it too close, not even a path. So I'm gonna stop. Where do you come from? You're teleporting out of nowhere. Uh, what's he telling them? Is he saying we don't do couples? He might be saying we don't do couples. Where are they going? Oh, are they staying at my hotel officially? They are, they're staying at my hotel. Ha! Oh my god. Okay, so we need to start expanding a bit more, I feel, because this is just embarrassing. Build. Paint floor. Build wall. Okay, let's start off by doing this.
and we're going to carry on expanding. So yeah, it's all about building. There's not that many hotel management games out there, which is why I'm quite excited for this one. Because let's face it, all the latest games kind of do management style kind of stuff. Uh, not the best, if I'm honest. Not the best. But you know, on sweet bathroom. Nice. Bar, bathroom, restaurant, reception. Ooh, look at that! Hmm, I need a bigger one for this, okay. So I'll get that eventually, but for now it's going to have to be this. And then we'll see, we're going to hire someone here. Congrats, you now work here, Suzanne Silverberg. You looks exactly the same as the other person? Add a new facility. Ah. Bathroom might be nice. Okay, you're fired. You are being sold. And you are no longer a bathroom. How do I unbathroom you? Very curious. It doesn't tell me anything. So what's this? Alert. A receptionist. A receptionist is not functional. We don't care. We have a reception. But do I have to use this one? Why is not using that one? Huh. I just love how my people are not actually doing anything. Look at them go. Useless is what they are. Absolutely useless. And we're done! Sorry. So all I need to do now is keep on expanding. I'm literally just letting them go. So I've turned that one into a toilet. It's a very big toilet, but whatever. And we're going to slowly start expanding. So now we need a restaurant. So I always think a restaurant should be near the reception. So we're slowly expanding. At the back we also have a cleaning area, as you can see. So a restaurant should be pretty big. It's the beginnings of where we start showing off our culinary excellence. Where people want to be. Where people want to be. Now the problem is, why do they want to be? Also, I'm going to turn this on so it's 90 degree rotate. Is it unreachable? How? How's I read? Oh, because there's a door, like a door, yeah. I, sir, am a Muppet. So I had a door, it should be reachable. So yeah, we need to keep on expanding and growing everything because cool things come to nobody. Because nobody comes here. Why? Because we are a bad place to be. Obviously that means we can do better. But will we? Who knows? Probably not. Probably not. And there we go. So now we build a kitchen. Why a kitchen? Well, food, obviously. There we go. So yeah, the world is becoming better for us. And this is very much a, a usual... Delete this, that was the best one. The usual kind of thing. Oh, God. First of all, actually, let's get a door down so I can actually tell what's working, what's not. Okay, good. Kitchen, what do we need? But yeah, it's all simple as you can see. You can put things down. It's extremely intuitive. Extremely intuitive. And because the Pathfinding the AI is actually vaguely competent, it actually moves around stuff, so you can build really odd-looking designs. As long as there's enough space for a sprite to sprite, it's going to sprite. As opposed to other things where it sits in the corner panicking and crying so it doesn't know what's going on, like a Sims character. There we go. Let's hire a chef. Let's hire you, you're pretty good. 
And there we go. Alerts. A restaurant is not functional. A restaurant is now functional. A hosting stand. There we go. Not the best restaurant, not the biggest restaurant, but it is a restaurant. We now serve food. Wait, one remaining. Do I have someone working? No, I do not. We now serve food. Serve 15 meals. I can do that. But will they be good? Okay, you've taken their order. Then you've ignored them. And taken it. Ooh. What have you got? A mess. Oh, I love a mess. And now what we do, we start expanding the rooms. Why? Well, who knows. But let's carry on growing our empire. God, it's very... I love these kind of games. Now, while I'm obviously doing a few things, there is a multi-level. You can go up and down. So you can build on many different levels. So you can actually build a proper hotel and not just, you know, like a one-story motel kind of situation. Now, that's pretty good. Because obviously not many games actually have up and down story levels, to be fair. And another thing that you don't have is... Why am I zooming in? Um. Oh. Oh, we need a maintenance worker, okay. Uh, what? Manage. Manage guests, staff, cook, housekeeper, receptionist, waiter. Mate. You don't have any of that. Clean it. It's all you can do. Clean it. Have to be for the best. But yeah, there's very few games where you actually have this level of control where you can micro alter things you're putting down. Like full on micro alter things. Like furniture wise. Like I could literally, if I take off this, slowly rotate it perfectly. You can actually build exactly what you want. And that's. Like I said, that's extremely bloody rare. How do I fix you? Like, you just do not get that in games. The only game I could think of was... Planet Coaster and that kind of situation. Also, The Sims. The bloody Sims did it. The amount of time I spent in The Sims building the perfect place on the floor. We have a big toilet, ma'am. Use the toilet. Now, obviously, we could build more toilets. We actually have on suites. We're not going to for this level of peasantry. These people get to suffer, like I suffer, whenever I have to use one of these kind of hotels. Yes, occasionally I have to sleep in a hotel. It's not good, because most of the hotels I pick are rubbish. But, you know, you can complain, and you probably should. Bar. Really want a bar. On you go. And there we are. So obviously now we just need to make sure the money keeps rolling in. Which it would be if anyone ever actually turned up. But I think we have a good start. Eventually we can start getting things like actual exercise rooms and stuff like that. These tables are slightly off and it annoys me. Also, looking at this, as you can see, in the casino's demo disabled, the disco's demo disabled, the gym's demo disabled, and so is the spa. So, a lot of the good buildings are not actually in the game. And also, because it's an alpha, a lot of the actual more exciting things do not yet exist apart from a concept. So, yeah, there's a few things which obviously will eventually go into the game. But it gives you a good idea of what you can and cannot do. The fact that you can, you know, very specifically move stuff to that kind of degree. Like, do you want this to be directly in the corner? You can also align it to things. You don't have to you have it inside stuff. Or align it so it doesn't bounce, so it bounces off. It's, there's a lot of things you can do. A lot of options, actually, too. My gods.
getting just the right height and things, it's gonna make me go uh, literally insane. But the detail you can put in. Like, I don't know how much there is past this, but my god, this is winning me here. Ooh, the blue moon bar, blue moon high table. Two, three, and four. Casino. Locked, but it gives me an option. Basic slot machines. There'll be more advanced stuff later on. Good. Utilities. Tool shelf. Storage shelf. Bathroom. Huh, actual bathroom shell. Spa. Eh, not much there yet. Gym. Hot tub and treadmill. Not much there yet either, to be fair. I don't really know what I'm doing now. There you go. If you're really excited, you can just sit in the corridor. Oh, immediately. That's it. Everyone have a conversation about books. Oh, it literally blew up. The oven needed repairs so badly, it actually blew up. But that explains why no one's been getting their meals. Okay, well, actually, let's, uh... Hire another chef. Hire another person. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Oh, that was a delivery guy. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was my maintenance staff who don't actually do the maintenance. They're just the cleaners. There's got to be another building for that. There is maintenance. Okay, let's get a maintenance building down and then I think we may have to start calling it. What are we going to call it? A first impression. Why? Because that's what it is. Stop questioning me. And this time I actually have to staff to do stuff before, you know, they explode. It's already sparking! It's literally already sparking. But yeah, obviously there's not too much here to see right now. But it's got very, very good foundations. Amazingly good foundations. Staff costs... 77 grand. Net per day is... Really? Ignore this, that's... Should be okay, actually. Should be okay. So you can now see the staff you can hire from the buildings. You can see reviews. Check out eight, stage one. Great service, great service, great service, great service. Ooh, no negative so far. We're trending. So actually there's a lot to unpack. A lot of stuff to do. A lot of things you can pick up. I'm really excited to see where this one goes. This is Hotel Magnet. Uh, being published by Crytifo. They're pu publishing a lot of games lately. They are publishing an awful lot of games. Some really, really good. Some, eh. So far, no one's I'd classify as really bad, but there's a few some people have instead. But, yeah, this game is coming out hopefully this year. Hotel Magnets, something I'm watching quite a lot of, because as you can see, you can probably imagine... Dozens upon dozens of guests in casinos, restaurants, staying for more than one night. You know, probably even like a couple of weeks. Getting really quite busy on multiple levels. But until that time, it's just showing what you can do. You can actually do quite a lot. Obviously, it's pretty basic. The graphics, eh, basic. Music, eh, it's okay. Isn't that much in the way of sounds. But anyway, ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. Be awesome. And I will, of course, be seeing you next time. Stay safe out there.